Hey guys, Matt here. I'm doing, doing an overview of my primary weapons. The bottom is my custom k 2 um, has an active breaking MOSFET and has pretty good internals, upgrade internals. Alright, let's get started. Uh, standard crane, which houses the battery, my uh, 7.4 2000 mAh um, LiPo battery. It sits up vertical, right in the butt pad area. Um, it has a tactile universal clip on the buffer tube. And the buffer tube is uh, is numbered. All right, um, the body, I mean the upper and lower receiver is a, a KWA KM4 CQB body. Um, really good durable body. Um, has a good um, like paint job. It's kind of anti scratch, which is pretty good. Um, yeah. Okay, standard pistol grip which houses the Matrix Turbo uh, 3000 high torque motor and a standard uh, M4 pistol grip. All right, has a mag pull enhanced trigger guard which is very comfortable. Um, has a KOA like a magazine with a mag pull assist. And for the um, flip up sights, I have the EPS. Um, flip up sights, backup sights, um, pretty cool. Um, has different apertures up top, and has uh, small white dots. So. All right, going forward, this is my uh, Laru Tactical um, nine-inch rail system. Um, has pretty cool. It says "Live Free or Die." And then I have Ergo grips. Um, yeah, pretty cool rail system. It is, it is nine inch, um, really compact, which I li which I like, and has a QE point right here, point right here, and on the other side. Then I have a standard vert grip, um, very comfortable. I like it. Yeah, the ergo rails are on both sides of the gun. Then I have have the front flip, flip up sight. Very cool. And I have a Battle Axe Peck 15 Light and Laser combo. Alright, yeah, it's a good gun. It's a pretty good RLF and trigger response. Um, yeah. So, yep, this is my M4 uh, Prime weapon. Let's move on to the AK. Let's put this aside. And then this is my. SEMA uh, AKS 74. Yeah, this is also a very good gun. Uh, fully stocked. Well, the only thing I just did to it is I upgraded the connectors to Dean's. Um, yeah, this one, this model is the the steel version. Um, yeah, it has a steel uh, lower receiver, um, top cover, uh, steel stock, steel flash hider, um, steel gas tube, but not steel barrel. Uh, but steel cleaning rod on the bottom, steel trigger and uh, mag release, and has a uh, ABS or polymer plastic uh, pistol grip or motor grip and handguard. This gun is signed by Airsoft GI Bob, which is right there. Very cool. Yeah, good gun, good trigger response. I run this gun on a 9.6, 1600 mm. Uh, only have our uh, stick battery up top in the receiver. Um, yeah, also has a steel uh, selector switch, and uh, yeah, yeah, good. Uh, this, in, this one has really good range, and uh, yeah, trigger response two is also pretty good on a nine six. Okay, get a close up. Yeah. Overall, this very, very good, good gun. I, I like it a lot. Um, yeah. And then here are the sights. Okay, let me uh, put these two together for the final. <coughs> All right. Okay. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Um, you know, these are the primaries I use on the field. Uh, you know, I use kind of half and half. Sometimes I use this one, sometimes I use this one. 
But yeah, these are pretty good guns, and I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Alright guys, thanks, uh, thanks guys for watching. See you guys next time.